So, we <laughs> could start over. <laughs> Jason now, welcome to the What's channel. The, the Beams, Mr. Beams, if I can call him that. So he's going to dive into the details of the car and it's a popular car. Most of the people, know, they do know the car. So Probably. we're going to dive into the details, mods, whatever. He's missing a bumper, so I don't know what's going on. But Ach, that's you'll, something of you'll, tell us, you'll tell us what's going on. So before we go deep into the stuff, we're not going to go that deep, but Tell us about the car, tell us about the car before the beams, before the, the whole big deal about the car. How was the car back then? The car back then was, uh, okay, start like this. The car back then I was going to buy a Mark 1 car. Hmm. And my late father told me, not a Mark 1 car. It's like you sell fast coupe. <laughs> then we ended up, we didn't have to view this car. And he told me this is the car for you. It was an automatic back hmm. then, 4 AF automatic, hmm. yes. And that's how the story of the car started and ever since then I've been just building the car like to the way I saw the mm. vision of the car but that's that on that side So you've had a lot of changes A lot of like changes in, Okay Was into sound first like the SPL and the bass boxing mm. things like that but then it started stance So motor wise on the car back then what was your first major change regarding the motor and things around it that you did? look with the motor like I said previously the car was originally 4 AF car Automat and automatic. it was automatic yeah. then I went the whole manual version that closer to the middle of 2017 that's mm -hmm. when I completed the whole 4 AG 20 valve swap that I did mm -hmm. and that's where it all led up to where I am now with the car but yeah. it's always been a vision to go beams and whatever I wouldn't say beams but in that perspective to get the car like as a daily driver also and mm. comfortable to get in and, and drive if I want to be in well. reliability is it's got it's it's um you want to do racing <laughs> and that is where yeah. the whole bike came in where stuff started to break mm. then you did a modification of maybe Edworks, Mike Dixon your 293 cams and things like that and that is how it led up to beams started to fiddle mm. and scratch and you want more obviously and you want more and more yeah. so and the bug but the you bug prop bit properly <laughs> yes it bit properly but yeah as it led up to beams and stuff you really notice that when you buy beams okay honestly it's like it's different to any other motor it's, it's like worlds just apart, a, even from it's a worlds apart. as well it's worlds apart you enjoy yourself as a daily hmm. and but on, yeah. on a daily you can put your foot down and, and just go power. it's like i can use the car to work and back a lot of people say that owns beams is heavy on fuel it's not i would say it's tune depends perfect, perfect. perfect. single beams setup obviously um, what motor mods have you done and exhaust setups have you do you have on the car oh honestly motor mods nothing I bought the motor at mics not mics at SO auto parts nobody had motors oh, okay. at the time so SO auto parts hooked me up and then like you buy everything separate like your gearbox if you get the motor like you create top beams obviously I'm great top mm. beams a lot of people know that I've got a camera box camera flywheel clutch 
that's the common stuff of the common the stuff that beans, yes yeah. like front wheel drive beans yes mm. um basically mods list is only exhaust 63 millimeter exhaust like you can see in the cinematics that is done mm. with a and big, then that's a big a big box a big back box yes, <laughs> uh, i think it's a 76 76 outlet yeah oh, okay on the and obviously induction yes no. that's the only two main things i've done like breather no um them. Um, cams and stuff like that that is the big question one day when I'm big I'll do that <laughs> <laughs> okay so, the, so there is plans for the car in the future there is plans for the car in the future but racing wise I'm, I won't say I'm putting racing on the back burner but financially when you're ready for that hmm. and you need to know your limits and with, yes because when something breaks you need to fix it the crowd yes. isn't going to fix it the crowd <laughs> isn't going to fix it and obviously like we always say the beams guys always say it's not the motor that breaks, everything surrounding the motor breaks. <laughs> so, induction and exhaust? It's just a 76 mil induction and exhaust. Probably future mods is 76 mil induction with probably go 101. No branches, there's nothing. I only used the standard red top branch because the grey tops come with a, what I call a weird curl branch. There's yeah. a curl to it, the pins on it. So, it actually doesn't give the motor that. I won't say the power that you want. Mm. So yeah, but it restricts the motor yeah. and it's better flow. Okay. So it's pretty it's a pretty, it's pretty stock standard stock. you can say. So regarding the exterior, I can't not ask something about the missing bumper. <laughs> and you daily the car? What's, I daily what's the car the is, um okay, let's get to the missing bumper. I would say four weeks ago, I was at home. I didn't feel like doing anything that Sunday, so I removed the bumper. And I told myself at least check the back of the car up, clean the car up. And mm. as you guys will see in the cinematics and the pics, that the spare wheel well is sprayed. That's why I took the pump off. I sprayed mm. that. I cleaned all the dust, obviously spider webs and the grime that's yeah. there. And then I started just liking the look with no back bumper. But On the daily setup, do you daily the car? I daily the car, yes. And it surprises me daily too. Mm. Yeah, like you can, you can, when you pull up to someone next to the robot, will you give it a go? Well, I, won't can't, no. can't, I won't say no. <laughs> we can't disclose that. <laughs> I will disclose it. I won't say no. Like I usually do that. These people on the road mm. or see someone maybe with his newer car, give it a go. Yeah. Because most of the people will, they will judge your car based on the looks. And based they on the looks, They yes. don't know really what's, what's behind it. And yes, like they say, some people judge it on the looks. Some people think, okay. It's not that fast, mm. and they're surprised by yeah. it. Let's start out by in last in November when I first had the car tune. I want to shout out to Suraj for actually holding my car for that day on the dyno, even though they had small issues. Jason Paul, so RBT, big shout out because Suraj was out of the not out of the country, out in PE racing, so I needed mm. someone just to get the car running. So that and the Babeda Paul brothers, <laughs> keep up. I was waiting for that one. <laughs> so thanks. I really Pleasure. appreciate it for coming out for the day. The first beams on the channel. I'm pretty excited, so let's go, guys.
I didn't even do an intro. I was so excited. First beams on the channel. Shout to Jason. Shout to and Ben. It's gonna be a cool video. I hope you guys watch the whole thing. Like, comment, subscribe. And on to the next, possibly Honda next, and then um, Ella's uh, VVL swap. <laughs> Possibly a, a B20, so peace guys.